Simultaneous Moving Bed Chromatography, or SMBC, is a technique used to separate large amounts of binary compounds in which the stationary phase is moved to the opposite direction of the flow of the mobile phase. It is cl its classification as a chromatographic method is usually accepted, but it is sometimes disputed due to the fact that both of the phases are mobile. That being said, this variation is becoming increasingly popular as it doesn't consume as much solvent as other techniques and still provides the high productivity that is needed for modern industrial use. The standard SMB system has between 4 and 24 columns, which are distributed between 4 zones with pumps and valves connecting the zones and columns to each other. The general rule is that the more columns per zone, the better the separation. However, one column per zone is usually enough to get a good separation without the added complexity of multiple columns. The technical component for this technique have to be installed and connected with the utmost of accuracy and everything has to be as closely to perf uh, close to perfectly synchronised as possible. Similarly, all the columns should be very stable and close to identical also. The position of the recycling pump in the system is very important because it controls the movement of the mobile phase. It can be fixed with respect to the columns and moved with respect to the zones or fixed with, fixed with respect to the zones and is then put in between zone 4 and zone 1 which is the only place that just the elutant is present. But this makes it a little bit more complex as the val more valves are needed to allow the columns to rotate. The setup of SMBC systems can be complex but is based on four zones, each of which contains at least one column. There is a diagram in the learning pack that might be useful to annotate as each of the zones are explained. The sample is introduced or fed into the system in zone three and the most firmly retained product the extract is completely absorbed so that it can be carried onto the stationary phase to zone 1 where it is desorbed and taken away from the system and the component that is not held as strongly, the raffinate, is it moved along by the mobile phase to zone 4 where it is absorbed and then desorbed in zone 2 and removed from the system. In the SMBC system, the internal volumetric flows rates or Q are related to the inlet outlet flow rates as shown in the equation. Q2 equals Q1 minus Q extract, and Q3 equals Q2 minus Q feed. Q4 equals Q3 minus Q raffinate, and Q1 equals Q4 minus elutant, which leads to the relationship of Q extract plus Q raffinate equals Q feed plus Q elutant between zone 2 and zone 3. Correct selection of flow rates is key to the success of this technique, and the extract front between zones 1 and 2 and the raffinate front between 3 and 4 need to be stable but still allow for separation to happen. If a trial and error type approach is applied to this selection, like it is for other chromatographic optimization, then you are likely to not succeed and simulation using computer software is basically the only way you'll be able to get it correct in a reasonable amount of time. The cosmetic and perfume industry have been using SMBC coupled with HPLC since the 90s but mainly the technique is used in separating sugar solutions. It is a topic of ever interest, however, for use in the purification of specialty chemicals like racemic mixtures and purifying proteins. Specifically, this method is used to separate mixtures of glucose and fructose using cation exchange polystyrene-based resin in calcium form as a stationary phase, and this method is sometimes one antitumor that will be useful as a drug and the other could be harmful. A famous example of this being thalidomide, where the R configuration is effective against morning sickness, but the S configuration causes birth defects. Since the enantium is a chemically equivalent, most chemical th synthesis in industry produces a racemic mixture, and so SMBC is used to separate them using a cellulose-based stationary phase, an organic elutant as the mobile phase, and is responsible for several tonnes per year of enantiomerically pure product. This modern variant of chromatography is limited by its need for strict control and its lack of versatility and ability to separate mixtures of more than two components. However, this process is very efficient and generally saves money in regard to the cost of elutant. The fact that it is continuous means that it can be used for large-scale separation and will directly fit into the industrial production process.